Well, hello, Math Maniacs. So I'm here to explain fraction bingo. I used it with my grade fives at the end of our fraction unit, and they absolutely loved it. And right away, I could see who just loved pictorial and who liked the word representation and who liked the numbers. So it was really good for as a teacher. So I'm gonna explain how it's played. If you can see, this is the teacher copy. This is the teacher sheet. And this will be the game board that the students use. And this is the student sheet that they get to choose what they put on their game board. So they're creating their own game board. So they can choose any of these and cut them up and fill the empty spaces. The pictorial pictures in the game board, they can choose how to color it. All of the choices though are on their student sheet. So if they see sevenths, they have to find what sevenths. So you could cover in three sevenths or you could color in four sevenths, but you couldn't do five sevenths because then there isn't that choice from their sheet. So once they have them shaded in, they cut them out and they can decide if they wanna use words, if they want to use numerical uh, choices, and they fill in their game board with all of the spots. Now, the important thing here is, with the, with the teacher copy, you notice that it's just all words. So there are going to be three one halves on here because that is the choices. They could have three one halves on their game board. Because so here we have Ashley, and Ashley's gonna demonstrate what you would be doing. Uh, she's my student. So you're gonna get them to cut out their uh, student sheet, and then they can choose where they want to put their one their uh, numerical or their words. Now, Ashley's shading in half. She needs to know that one out of two or half is an option. Now she's gonna go to sevens. Yeah, right there. Now, before she goes, you have to say, check your student sheet and how many out of seven can you shade in? What are your choices? You can do three sevenths or you could do four sevenths. So decide what, how many equal parts are you going to shade in? So let's say one, two, three. Ah, four sevenths. Ashley shaded in four sevenths. So as you're doing this, you have to make sure you're gonna have, you have to have extras because you're going to know that some students are going to mix up and color more or not enough in each one. The other thing I would recommend, I know Ashley's an adult and she's doing, uh, going ahead and doing this. I would recommend you get the students to shade in their pictorial ones first because then if they do make a mistake, you can give them another one and they haven't wrecked um, the student game, the ones that they can cut out if they make a mistake. So two thirds, two thirds is an option. Math is awesome! And if you really, really like enjoying um, getting free games and free activities for math, please, please push the button below and subscribe to us. We would really appreciate it. Woohoo! Subscribe! Woo